Well, the rocket rolled out, the test fire completed, and a little more than 48 hours, the launch window opens for a game-changing mission from the Space Coast. The first all-civilian space crew set to lift off on a Falcon 9 rocket. And tonight, we are getting a better look at who the people will be on board. Real people who've almost become reality stars <laughs> thanks to a new Netflix documentary on the upcoming launch. News 6's Eric Von Anken is at the Kennedy Space Center with more. The four seats on the rocket are actually named to represent something that is supposed to inspire us, hence the name Inspiration 4. Tonight we're learning more about the guy in the generosity seat, how it could have been you or I, and how he, like any of us, had to consider his family first. I first heard of this mission from the Super Bowl ad. It showed up on the TV, it's like, well, that's kind of an interesting opportunity, and oh, it's benefiting St. Jude. Chris Sembrowski is clearly a family man. The new Netflix documentary on the four crew members shows him cooking with his family at his house in Washington State. Growing up, I was in math competitions and went to a science and math high school. So I've always been someone who loves space and rockets and science. He graduated from Embry-Riddle in Daytona Beach, went into the military, and now works at Lockheed Martin as a data analyst. But I never thought that I'd actually have a chance to go to space. Putting your name into the lottery, it's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But then. So guys, from this point on, no photos will be allowed in the facility. It got real. He got the call from Jared Isaacman. The risk is not zero. The billionaire sponsoring the rocket ride who will sit in the leadership seat and command the mission. And the first thing Zembrowski said is, boarded a tender moment right before these photos were taken at the top of the launch pad, Zembrowski hugging and reassuring his wife that it will be okay. You're riding a rocket at 17,500 miles an hour around the Earth. In that kind of environment, there, there's risks associated with it. Chris Sembrowski's wife says in the documentary that, yes, she's very appreciative and excited that Chris is going to space, but also, understandably so, she is very nervous and very anxious. Remember, when NASA astronauts sign up for this, they understand the risk, and so do their families. But these folks, again, are not NASA astronauts. They're just regular people. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6.